Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Search Criteria Form tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at how to generate search results using the Matrix Criteria Form. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same, and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so typically, the most popular method of searching in Matrix is from the search criteria form. And it's from here that we're able to enter the specific criteria for the property type that we're looking for. Now, by default, I'm currently set up to search for residential properties. But for this example, we're going to change our property type to cross property. And this essentially allows us to search multiple property types at the same time. Now, when you first choose a property type, what you'll initially see are the default fields included with this form. But if you'd like to search using different fields, then you're also able to customize this form. To do this, we're going to access the Criteria Field Settings page. And from here, we can either build our custom form from scratch or just remove the specific fields that we no longer use either individually from the selected field section or from the available fields. Now by extension, we're also able to select any additional fields that we'd like to include, either by searching visually or by using the filter. Now if you'd like to customize the order of how these fields will appear on your criteria form, simply grab the handle then drag your field into its new position. All right, so once all of your fields have been set, you're now ready to save your form. And you'll notice that this property type is now customized. And again, it'll remain this way until I choose to modify it in the future. In the meantime, let's go ahead and add our criteria. In this example, our client's looking for all active residential and rental properties priced between $1,000 and $350,000. And you'll notice that with each new entry, our map and results section are both updated in real time, each reflecting the total number of matches. All right, so in addition to the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, we're also going to select a predefined city. But for this search, we're looking for properties that do not include this location or in other words, anywhere outside of the area. And finally, let's go ahead and maximize our result space. And we can do that by first hiding our criteria, then adjusting the map to results ratio. And of course, when we're ready, we can easily return to modify our criteria. All right, well, this concludes this search criteria form tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.